Boom! Salutations! Oh, this is a different type of video. We just came out of shelter and uh, had a tornado pass by a few miles away. Um, I live in the Midwest. That's one of the things about being in the Midwest. A tornado can just drop out of the sky on you. So uh, <laughs> this has been a little bit more nervous than I would normally be. A little bit jittery, a brother is. So anyway, this is um, a video. What I'm going to do is actually pull several videos together including the one I did on ancient cave paintings that is only on Patreon so other people would have seen that video and a lot of these this information I've done in several different videos so this is about trying to actually condense the information and bring it to you and present it to you in the same chronological fashion that you just saw the pictures there's a lot of pictures there and I put these pictures at the end of the video so that it will make even more sense after I've done chronologically with what you've seen, discussed it, it hopefully will flow closer and more smoothly. So what I want to discuss here is um, the Eye of Africa, okay, which is af actually a rather beautiful ring structure in, I can't even pronounce them, Maratia, Africa. Um, anyway, it's a, I'll put pictures up of that. You can look it up. And the thing is, look all this up instead of me trying to explain everything in exact detail. Yeah, there's other videos for that. Anyway, so the Eye of Africa, though, is an anomaly the way it looks, definitely. And it's these concentric circles, all right? And I think it is a place of geoma geomagnetic power spot on our planet. And one that is actually a stargate. I think actually like a physical stargate as well, that area on this planet. Now, looking at some of the ancient painting, ancient cave paintings, especially the ones in Italy, I think there's a couple in Ireland, but there are these continual cave paintings that things show up, which are these circles on them and these hands, all right? Now, um, I'll put up the pictures of all the cave paintings as well, so definitely take a look at those. Um, one of them, they're very, very old cave paintings, but the ones that have the circle on them, the spiral, again, I think this spiral is actually showing on these cave paintings where on earth this, the eye of Africa is that is actually a portal uh, geometric uh, spot here, a spot with a stargate, sorry, stargate spot. And also you've got um, these hands, like the hands, when you've got the hands, that I believe that's showing 
the hand of God Nebula, which is in the uh, Circanus constellation, I think. Um, anyway, but that's one you can look up. But I think there's something there, and this is once again showing what I've said before, that ancient man was not these primitive people that we think. They're a type 1 civilization going on. So they were seeing these things, like the God, hand of God Nebula. So I think what you're seeing there when you see the animals in one of these paintings going in, coming from or going into this, this uh, spiral, and then you're seeing the hand over there, I think you're seeing where these beings were actually, these animals were being brought from, the hand of God, the nebula area. One we don't hear much about when we're talking about contactees and uh, experiences. We don't hear much about that area very much. But that's one thing we're seeing. <clears throat> Excuse me. Now something I want to take this and connect this to, this spiral that you're seeing in these cave paintings. What I'm seeing with these cave, these cave paintings are star maps, is what I'm seeing. And when I say see, I mean see actually by energy, psychically. A lot of us can do that, you know. So I'm seeing with that is not just a stargate, the spiral, but also a black hole. And when saying that, what Dr. Rudy Shield calls the Mako, and how he describes them, magnetically, uh, eternally collapsing objects. Now, I'm not going to go over that again. I've done a bunch of videos over what the Mako is, all right? And the Mako itself is. Um, the black hole, and inside the black hole, you've got the Mako itself, which is the mechanism that actually records the memory, the information, and creates that quantum hologram on the surface of the Mako itself. Like I said before, if I put this big pin goes through, it makes an exact copy of it on the, on the surface, this, 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 this quantum hologram. And what that quantum hologram does, the Mako, is it wraps around the Mako itself. So what that is, is actually like a hard drive for the universe. So when we start hearing things, and I put pictures of this up too, the Akashic Records, I went over this in other videos, we hear about the Akashic Records, how many of you really hear it? Like me, Edgar Cayce is the first person that talked about it, and then you have to expand on it from there. But the Records of Space and Time, what does that really mean? I hear so many people saying, oh, I access the Akashic Records, I do this and that. I'm not doubting them, but what are they? What are the Akashic Records? It's these makos. It's that information around, that quantum hologram. And what that is, is recording the entire universe. It's wrapping around. So that spiral form again. And how does that actually connect to what I'm saying? That means that these makos actually work on, like, brain waves. And you wouldn't think that brain science correlates with uh, universal black hole theory, but yet it does, all right? So actually, when we're looking at these quantum holograms and looking at these, these makos, the way we're going to access this information, these black holes, the Akashic Records, is consciously, through thought. And the speed of thought is approximately 100,000 times the speed of light. So that means, boom, we get there real quick, <laughs> instantaneously. So this is something to really take into consideration. And breaking it down more, as I've done in other videos, I put pictures of this up too, how our brains actually connect with this is through what actually the Creator is making things called conscious waves flow throughout the universe, these conscious waves, and conscious waves, uh, uh, oh, excuse me, I'm getting a little excited. Conscious waves occur in two different patterns, in the helical and the spiral, all right? And the spiral uh, connects to something that we have in our body called microtubules. And we'll sp specifically kind of stick to more of the brain microtubules that go throughout our body. But the brain microtubules are spiral, and they react to these spiral conscious waves. So, and that's the same thing you're seeing around the Mako and the way these black holes are formed. And they're also luminous objects. I find that interesting. Something that Dr. Shields had pointed out to me. Anyway, so just when taking that, so when we're looking at this painting and we're seeing that spiral, I think we are seeing advanced civilizations saying how they actually access us through the quantum hologram. We see here so much about how we're living in a quantum, a, a, hologra a holographic universe. What does that mean also? 
Is that how this is happening right now? Is what I'm telling you? Is that so we have a civilization that no longer exists, a type 2, type 4, type 5 civilization that no longer exists but is using space as their prime power source, these, these Makos as their prime power source, they may no longer exist in our time frame, but they can still access us through the quantum hologram, through the Akashic Records. I think that's really saying something there. And then that goes into how they access our brain and how much our brain is in tune with the divine field, how much our brain and consciousness is a part of space. You know, it's like space are maybe the thoughts of the creator. So, okay, I'm getting a little excited, carried away. I'm make sure I'd look this. I actually made a list, a small list, to make sure I nailed all this to try to make this as succinct and direct as possible for you. All right. Um, um, something else. Okay, sorry, I missed this. Sorry. The micro microtubules, what they also construct is the neuron network of the brain and that takes us into mirror neurons and the mirror neurons is like me telling you a story right now you can see it and live it with me because it's that process of uh, almost like grab and reflex in the monkeys they have but anyway those actually the mirror neural network and that's important when looking at the quantum hologram and how these black holes function that is like a mirror network type of situation and that's what I'm describing there. So take this, okay? Run with it and just remember something that you, this is coming from me mostly. You're not hearing this from a lot of other contactees, all right, which is cool, but I mean, we all see differently. I see, I'm a real contactee and this stuff is important, I think. It's important to understand this consciously for our own evolution, self-evolution, evolution of the planet to become a type one civilization finally. So, uh. That's all. Please subscribe. I want to thank the people on Patreon. It's them that are making these videos that why I'm still putting any of this out and still doing this. So thank you very much. Please hit the subscribe button. Please share this video and hit that bell after the subscribe button. So if I put something else out, you get notified. People are telling me when I put something out, they don't get, uh, don't get the beep. So anyway, please do that. Peace and love and thank you all for the good words and for subscribing and for checking out the information and keeping an open mind. Peace.